The eye-popping new 16-bit extra innings for your Super NES put you in the batter's box, on the pitcher's mound, even in the manager's shoes. There's never been a baseball game like it. You control it all. Runners steal, outfielders make diving catches, and pitchers throw everything from smoke to fork balls. But watch out when your pitcher starts wiping his brow. It could be a sign he's starting to tire. Extra innings. It beats anything you've ever played. Two-player mode allows for fierce head-to-head -head competition. Players can choose lineups and create their own dream teams. Fantastic 16-bit technology, sound, and graphics. And this is Extra Innings from Sting and Sony Image Soft, released in March 1992. And it's yet another baseball game. Uh, and again, we have no reception data. You know what? Maybe this is just a thing. Maybe it's just a thing that uh, we don't, people don't care about baseball games on the Super Nintendo. Could be, uh, was released in Japan in 1991 as a traditional baseball simulator. Uh, features 12 fictional teams composed of their own fictional players drawn in anime styles. Players can create two custom teams, the players of which can have their names and ratings edited by any number of times. For the most part, the game adhered to realistic rules of baseballs and it admitted some more complex strategies such as the double switch. I don't know what that is. Extra innings controls were unlike many of the era, featuring pitches with the vertical break, diving, and sliding catches that could be assisted by the AI and independent runner control, which I had some trouble with, you'll see in this video. This could be exploited in this and subsequent Japanese versions of the games with runners on first and third in single player. The AI will attempt to put out any runner advancing toward a base. With practice, the player can alternate between advancing and retreating both runners until the computer could not keep up with both, producing cheap runs. Like most baseball, video, and computer games, either one or two players can join in. Extra Innings features four different types of play. One player versus computer, two player versus battle, an all-star game, and a pennant race. And we have some teams as well. Our leagues are the A League and the C League, or the P and N League. We have the Surfers, the Valiants, the Petros, the Metallics, the Stocks, the Winds, the Bees, the Triplets, the Reigns, the Condors, the Bunkers, and the Motors. And you can create two custom teams within the game. When creating the team, you can name all the mem members of the team. You have the ability to rearrange player ratings within the team, and the stats control various team aspects such as hitting, pitching, speed, etc. Each of the two custom teams is allotted a certain number of points that can be allotted as the player chooses across the team's entire roster. And I think we're finally out of the woods for baseball games for a little while. Again, I, I just don't care enough. Um... I think of all the ones we've looked at, this one looks the best, but I don't really, I, I don't really like how this one plays. I mean, it's also probably, of all of the baseball games we've looked at, probably the one that the least amount of time, effort, and money went into could be. Sting and Sony weren't really big names for making games like this.